So it comes out to be approximately 92,000 INR only. Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to explain to you that despite being a millionaire, I have made some really bad financial mistakes in my life. So I'm going to talk about one such mistake that has costed me dearly. And hopefully you will learn from that mistake. I will analyze that mistake quite a bit. So that's part one of the video and towards the second half of the video, I'm going to explain to you what other three bad financial mistakes I'm going to make in the near future. I consider it to be financial mistakes, but you tell me whether you would consider those as financial mistakes or not. So let's get this video started. Please watch the video till the very end and do press the like button. It would indicate to me that you appreciate me making this type of content. So my number one financial mistake has been not buying a term insurance till the time I turned 30. So I'm 33 right now and I did not buy a term insurance by the time I was 30. And this has costed me dearly. Why? Because term insurance or life insurance is one such product that the earlier you buy, the lower premium that you have to pay for that entire term. Right. So just to break apart this mistake. So I bought a term insurance for approximately 35 years and I'm paying a premium of approximately 10,000 rupees. Now this premium stays fixed. So for the next 35 years, I'm going to keep paying this premium at 10,000 rupees. If I would have bought this insurance when I was just 23, 24, then the same insurance would have costed me five or 6,000 rupees. So every month, essentially, there is an outflow of 4,000 rupees. Now, many of you would say that, hey, Akshat, you're a millionaire. How does 4,000 rupees matter? But if you aggregate that over a span of 35 years, it's a lot of money. So the lesson to be learned is that please buy a term insurance or life insurance as early as you can because the premium gets fixed, that's it, and you are likely to get lower premiums because of your age. So I hope this point is clear. Now you might say that, hey Akshat, you run a finance YouTube channel run and how could you have made such a dumb mistake? The reason is very simple that like many of you, I too hate the word life insurance. So when you think about life insurance, you have to imagine that you are dead. Depressing, right? Horrible, horrible thought. Why would anyone want to imagine all these bad things happening to themselves? So it's a really, really bad thing from that perspective. So none of us want to think on those lines. So when I was single, ready to mingle, I did not buy this insurance and it has costed me dearly from that angle. Now, finally, when I had a family, I decided to buy insurance and pay even higher premiums. Why did I not buy it earlier? Super simple. Now this sounds a super depressing topic. This is very similar to me being lazy with my taxes. So every month my CA, big shout out to my CA, he keeps pinging me, he calls me at least five times that he Akshat, please fill your tax, please fill your tax. Government tells me, they keep sending me messages that he Akshat, please pay your tax. Then only I pay it. I'm like very lazy with my taxes. This is one ongoing financial mistake that I'm making even now. So I hope that like me, you will not make this same mistake and this will prove beneficial for you in the future. So it is like eating Lockheed to right Inde. Our moms feed us Lockheed to right Inde. If your mom does too, hit the like button. So our moms feed us Lockheed to right Inde because it is good for health. We hate it, but we still end up eating it for health reasons. Please listen to the basics for the next four to five minutes. I'm going to summarize in a very easy way what term insurance is, when should you buy it, how you should buy it. If you follow these simple rules, you will simplify your life and your financial health a lot, a lot. Okay, so let me quickly cover these points. So what is a term insurance or life insurance? Now let's say person X, he's 25 years old, he buys a life insurance or term insurance for 40 years. So that term period is 40 years. So that person buys an insurance for 40 years. Now, if person X passes away in that term of 40 years, then the family or the nominee will get a certain amount. So this is simple. That term insurance covers you for a certain amount of time. That 25 year person buying a 40 year term period. If the person dies at 45, does the family gets money? The answer is yes. If the person X dies at 70, does the family get money? The answer is no, right? Because this insurance is covered during the term. It is called as term insurance. Now comes the second question. So when should you buy it and who should buy it? So you should buy it as soon as you can, because as I explained in the first half of the video that the younger you are and the sooner you buy term insurance, the premium every month that you're paying to the insurance company, that will be low. So therefore, the sooner you buy it, the better it is. Who should buy it? People with responsibilities, people who have families to take care of. For example, in my case, when I was single, ready to mingle, I did not need to buy this term insurance, so I did not buy it. Once I had a family, so I decided to buy a term insurance. 
do not make this mistake you should buy it as soon as you can essentially everyone needs it but if you fall in a category where literally no one depends on you then you do not need to buy a term insurance now let's understand some of the basics of term insurance again please don't skip this section it is like eating lucky puree and day please understand this is extremely extremely important so three simple points here number 1 how much cover should you buy so cover means that if that person x who bought an insurance at 25 years of age if he dies at 55 then how much cover or money the family will get so that is the cover that you need to decide accordingly the premiums premiums are the monthly payment that you will have to make it will get decided so how much cover should you undertake now many people say that hey you should take cover approximately 25 times your salary now this is not a correct number and this is not a correct argument why because number 1 it depends on your current expenses not your salary right so buying a right cover depends on your expenses that like what are your total expenses every month that is very important and second is lifestyle inflation so how do you expect your lifestyle to go up for example in my case i want zain to go and study at a university outside india now that is not an expense that i am incurring right now right so if i just save money and buy a cover based on my yearly income it might not be correct because if i want zain to go and study abroad that's a massive expense so i need to take a cover accordingly that in case something happens to me then zain gets educated well therefore i'll choose a cover which is of a higher amount i am okay paying higher premiums from that perspective now what exact cover to take that is an extremely complex and personal decision it really depends on your expenses how your lifestyle inflation will happen so you need to sit with an expert and decide this is the reason why i love ditto that you can actually schedule a call with an insurance expert and speak with them for free right for free just check the link in the description box figure out how much cover you need but please understand that you need to pick the right cover why because once you pick a life insurance and if you buy a certain cover you will be stuck with it for your entire life so if you end up buying a wrong cover it will be very difficult to change the terms of that insurance so please speak with an expert and then make a move number 2 point what is the duration so let me explain this that how insurance companies do not give you the right understanding here so there are two options that i would outline and you tell me in the comment box which option will you pick now insurance company will say stuff like that hey you will get a 1 crore cover till the age of 85 and for this you will have to pay 20000 as premium this is option 1 option 2 they will say that hey you will get a cover of 1.5 crores but the duration is till 65 years of age and again you will have to pay the same premium and something happens to you your family will definitely get the benefits now you will be very tempted to pick option 1 because you will feel that hey there is like 20 year additional period my family will definitely get more benefits so therefore i should pick a lower cover but higher age range or higher duration which goes to 85 this is a incorrect way of buying your insurance what you need to ask yourself is that to what extent does my family depend on me so let me explain this point further by using my own example so for example let's say that i'm 30 and I have taken an insurance cover which lasts me till 65. So by the time I'm 65, Zain will be independent. He will have his own family. He will be doing his own jobs, etc. So he might not be dependent on me by that stage. So there is no point in me buying an insurance which lasts me till 85 years of age, right? Because by that time Zain will be 50. So there is no point in me buying an insurance which lasts me till 85 years of age. I would rather benefit by condensing this duration to 65 and taking a higher cover because my family might need a higher cover. Now many people tend to see their insurance as an investment that hey where I'm getting maximum return. No, insurance is just insurance, right? It's just outflow of money. It's an expense. so don't consider this as an investment like stock market or mutual fund and try to maximize your investment investment you do it differently i talk a lot about how to maximize your investments watch those videos but here please do not consider your insurance as an investment it is just a really bad thing to do now third and final point regarding term insurance is that term insurance are very very complex to buy there are a lot of nuances and again i'll make the point that once you buy a term insurance you are stuck with that insurance for that entire duration so you will have to keep paying premium you can't change your amount you can't change your duration lot of headaches are there so please invest your time to learn about the right type of life insurance to buy it is not like health insurance which you can change very difficult to change a life insurance so let me show you some of the riders associated in terms of buying a life insurance or term insurance so many a times your insurance company will tell you that hey you know what if you take an accident cover pay 
500 rupees premium more. Please do not do such things. You should just pick an adequate cover. What is the cause of death? That should not play into the cover amounts that you are taking. Whether you are taking 1.5 crore cover or 2.5 crore cover or 3.5 crore cover. What is the cause of death? It has hardly anything to do with it. So don't pay extra premiums for it. Your cover should be decided based on what the amount your family will be okay with if you as a bread earner of the family pass away. So please don't hate me. Unfortunately, I have to talk about death and all these dark things because the topic itself is dark from that angle. So take it in the right spirit. Now there are a bunch of different riders, for example, critical illness, right? If you, for example, have some really bad health issue and you can't work for years, then would you still need to continue paying premium? That becomes a big burden on the family. So please investigate whether such a scenario will play out with your insurance provider or not. And again, if all this looks very complicated, the link is in the description box. Please go and book a call with Ditto people. It's free. It's easy. They help you understand things in a very customizable way. So in summary, please do not make the mistake that I made that I bought a term insurance very late in my life because now I have to pay higher premiums. Do not make the same mistake. If anyone depends on you, then you need to have a term or life insurance. It's as simple as that. Do it as soon as possible. So this brings me to the final section and hopefully I can make this video fun for you. That which are three dumb things that I'm going to do. I know that these things are dumb, but I'll still go ahead and do it. And these are financial mistakes that is almost imminent that I'll make. Okay. So the first key financial mistake that I'm going to make is that I'm going to buy an iPad Pro. So it comes out to be approximately 92,000 INR only. So this is one thing that I'm buying. Why am I buying it? Because I'm making a lot of YouTube videos. So I think that this will be a good investment for our YouTube channel. So let me know if it makes sense or not. I'll start teaching technical indicators and a bunch of fundamental analysis concepts. So that's the reason why I'm doing it. Number two, I am most likely going to move to France. So I was checking the Airbnb rates and everything to stay in France. And my approximately rent expense in Paris comes out to be 2 lakh rupees a month only. So, okay. So that's the second mistake that I'm making. Why am I making it? Because I believe that this will be a great experience for me and my family. I am big on spending money on experiences financial dumb decision probably but I figured that hey I will learn a ton of things and I'll share with you a ton of stuff that I'll be learning in Europe so okay let's do it now third and final financial mistake that I'm going to make subsequently in the future is that I'm going to send Zane to study abroad I feel that that is a very good experience you get a lot of exposure for example during my time at INSEAD it helped me learn a lot of things it was a very fun interesting experience so I would want Zane to have that I don't know if it's a financial mistake, what the situation would be like, but I've already started saving money for that and it's going to be a massive expense. And like the previous two things, I'm not going to use the word only there. So these are the three key mistakes or investments, how you term it. These are the three key expenses that I'm going to undertake. Let me know in the comments that which of these three you think is a mistake. All right. Thank you so much. And I will see you the next time.